Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Eddie, and I am ashamed of myself for not posting uh, videos for like quite a while now. It's been like a couple of days, four, five. I don't know, but my schedule is completely fucked up right now. Um, there's been a couple of things that I needed to do. I'm sick. I'm I'm pretty sure you can already tell just by hearing my voice. And um. Yeah, it's just things going on with family matters. Uh, it's just been horrible. Uh, if you really want to know, I'll put a little description of like what's going on uh, down down below, maybe in the comments or in the description. But just so that I won't be talking about it during the gameplay. Um, so we're gonna go into a ranked match. We have Benton, myself, and. A uh, freaking an Ozo that's going Rome. Yeah. <laughs> um. So right off the bat, me and Benton, uh, he was actually streaming. I was just like playing with him. We weren't on on Skype, but his reactions were were just priceless, you guys. Uh, because, I mean, this is a ranked match, and like, why are you gonna be trolling? other people especially in a ranked match i get it if it's a casual like i mean that doesn't matter but come on man as you can tell look at uh adagio is just sad he's crying but um i honestly didn't expect the outcome of this so first of all rona she is extremely viable i believe in this update even though she only got like a couple of a couple of changes but those changes seem to be like really important to her actually being not being a potato anymore. Even though it's been like that for like uh, the last update, I used her quite often, especially in ranked. But we were we were up against a Kestrel, so Rona might not be the best counter pick to a Kestrel just because of how much Kestrel can just poke and just how much she can. Just of how much her her glimmer shots do, like the intense amount of damage. It's just like it's just horrible. But yeah, me and Ben were like, oh man, this is we're gonna lose. We got an Ozo as Rome. This isn't gonna work out unless he possibly maybe starts um, building like he's supposed to and like actually trying. But you'll see what what happens later on. Right here, um, I guess he sacrificed himself. I couldn't really do much because it was a three v two. So yeah, I just backed off. Uh, I regrouped with Ben. I got myself a weapon blade. That's all I can do for now. Just farm up again. So I don't think I don't think we took these. So we just I just gotta um, get those. And then my rotation's all messed up right now too as well because I was supposed to start from the top. Or all the way in the back, my health regen, but whatever, right? So I don't know about you guys, but I hate this update so much. I don't know if it's um, the actual update, but there has been a ton of bugs. Uh, whether it's glitching out of the draft mode screen, whether it's uh, having your character not be, not head towards the direction you want it to. And as you can see, throughout this match, I have like s like several ping notifications where it says fail uh, connection error or something. But yeah, I don't know if it's because of my internet. Even though I brand I got brand new internet, I shouldn't have much of a problem anymore playing like during the day because of how fast my internet is. It is uh, about I have Time Warner 5G. So 5G is still like not very reliable because because of reasons that I'm not gonna go into because I don't know too much about it. But my friend like told me, Rickless told me a little bit about it. He said that it's still like not the best, but supposedly it's the internet that I'm supposed to have is supposed to have 300 megabytes download per second. But uh, I've only seen it go up to 160. That's the max. And it's still like 
So this still has its problems. Like right now, you see it's like 200. And you'll see that throughout the whole match. Just like those little pings that like kind of mess you up sometimes. And the problem with this is because... The problem why I'm talking about this is because like... Uh, it's like messing me up to the point where I can't stutter step correctly. And like my game falls a little behind sometimes. Like right now, I don't know if you noticed. Uh, in this case, I think it really was a lag. The internet lag because I was like... Uh, Craze, I was tapping my B ability like for the longest time and it just would not activate and you uh, If you notice it, you're gonna You're gonna see see that same problem throughout the whole match Another 262 ping. I honestly have no idea what's going on Maybe it's the walls that like cut off the connection. I don't know, but uh, It got really annoying to me and I got really frustrated this match Especially since it's a ranked match, especially since it's because it's with Benton, even though it is his smurf. Uh, I still want to like, leave a good impression. So, um, at this point, I don't know what the hell Ozu's doing, he's down by himself, I guess he's just trying to farm. I honestly tried to get the Black Feather because, of, because I saw how low he was. But, again, my device was a little, a little stupid and just wasn't able to kill him also I don't think uh, I really would have killed him but it was worth a shot I saved my A ability just in case I was like in any kind of type of trouble so yeah I, I would just uh, be able to get away safely the reason why I pinged here is because I also took one of my backs and yeah it's just so frustrating when uh, a roam takes one of your backs right here I don't know what the hell was going on but the whole enemy team was in that brush or like around that and I don't know how Arden didn't notice it, but I Mean I guess right that was just it was just looking really bad for us at this point But Yeah, like I said, I don't know if it was the enemy team or if it was our team that was a little more coordinated or like that we have a little bit more synergy but yeah, the outcome is like completely different to what the beginning is. This was also like one of those games where like we had to not necessarily coil up, but we did have to play on the defensive side most of the time. Like right now, I'm like, I am a little uh, afraid to go into my own jungle by myself just because of how the... Just because of how the enemy team has been playing so far, but even though I did see the Arden up there, I know that the Kestrel was either up there with them, sneaking, sneaking in the in the lane brush or in down in the jungle. So I really wanted to invade right now because we see her in the in the mini map, but uh, Ozu didn't commit to it. But it's fine though. So now we're gonna. See, we can like vice grip them, get him from both sides. I use my ult, use my A. I'm able to pick up two, uh, even though it was like a total KS. I wanted to get gold mine because Kestrel's by herself. It's a perfect time to get it. Easy monies. Ben should, I think he should, depending on the situation, he should have gotten a, a turret, but never mind. Now that I see that Kestrel's up there. There's probably almost uh, no way that he could have gotten it. So as a Rona, I usually build either a, a Sorrow Blade and a uh, and a Breaking Point or a Serpent's Mask and a Breaking Point. Just because I think Rona is the only character char character <laughs> character that is like viable for Breaking Point. I don't see any other hero. That, that can use sorry that was my phone let me turn it up I don't see any other character that can properly use or at least that can use breaking point as as efficient as Rona can not Glaive not Black Feather he's good too I believe so uh, but cruel um, I don't think it's really good on cruel just because 
Even though you do build a sorrow, I still don't think it's like very good. But I'm I'm not the best cruel, obviously. I'm not a cruel expert, but that's just my thoughts. Even though some of you might be saying, "Oh, but you use breaking point on your all of your montages." Yeah, I did. Uh, I was just testing it out, so <laughs> not my best cruel build, but it's something, right? So right now, um, I'm deciding whether to get armor or shield, because I believe, who is it, Black Feather? Yeah, Black Feather, I believe he's building armor, and Kestrel, I haven't really seen any problems with her. So this is the way you want to decide on whether you should build armor or shield. It, I believe it's who is dealing the most damage to you, or who is the biggest threat to you. Because at this point, I'm like, I'm just thinking to myself, well, Kestro, like, she, she, she's CP and she hasn't really been doing much damage to me. Maybe she just, like, never focused me or anything. But yeah, she wasn't a problem to me. I always decided to go for her because she was, like, really squishy and she would easily die. So yeah, I started going, uh, I started building armor for the Black Feather because I know, like, he, he would target me a little bit more often than Adagio, or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he was targeting the Adagio for the same reason, just because Adagio was really squishy. So they're down, the Arden and the Kestrel are down. I just go into the jungle and invade, get anything that I can. The most valuable first, of course, are the backs. Uh, I, didn't, I don't remember if I saw the health minion up but we just got the bottoms and that should be fine for now. I see they're in trouble, but not too in trouble because I just saw Kestrel right now. So uh, I knew it wasn't too much of a problem if I wasn't there. Look, um, Ke Ozo decided to use his ult. Uh, fight is... A fight is happening. I killed Blackfeather for like... In some miracle, I don't know. I used my boots to try to get to the to the Castro, but I saw that my B ability wasn't up, so I wasn't able to use it on her. But either way, we still got the ace. Now we're gonna get a turret out of this. Um, I hope I'm really hoping to get a gold mine out of this as well. But black, Fe um, black feather. But Ozo wanted to keep fighting. I kept pinging him. No, stop, stop, stop. We can't really do anything here because we have no minions and um, I really wanted to get gold mine I don't know what the hell Ozo was doing here just getting a health minion he thinks that's worth it I have no idea but the enemy team is already in their way I get my breaking point I get a light shield for the Kestro because they're gonna hurt sooner or later I'm just trying to get my breaking point stacks off of um, Arden and Blackfeather at the same time so that way, like, once I do have enough stacks, I could easily burn down the Kestrel. And it also helps that Adagio was buffing me, like, most of the time, if not all the time. So here, Kestrel's just on her way. She's running away. She can't really do anything at all. So we just decided to go to Goromon again. I did see that we have a couple of minions up there. But we decided to just get gold mine because that's a little bit more worth it because it's extra money that you can get rather than a turret. It means that you will always get the same amount of money if you just if I if we just get aimed for that turret there. Another little lag that, that really got in my nerves. I don't know. Uh, are you guys liking this update? I can't. I honestly can't wait for the next update. I really hope they fix it. They fix all those little tiny bugs. I know it's like, it's really hard and stuff, or like, it's not the easiest, but I still really hope that at least some things get fixed. So I'm really excited for, first of all, I am excited for Vox. He is now, if you guys don't know, there's been some leaks, I think on Instagram or something where... I think the, the, the 
channel or page or whatever it's called on Instagram. It's called Vain Glory Leaks. And I've seen some things. Vox will now be. I honestly think he will be a lot better in terms of CP. Um, he's gonna have. Let me, let me go into details, details a little bit more. So, first of all, I'm excited for his extra range. I think right now he has 4.5 range for his basic attacks. So, as you all know, that's like incredibly short range for a sniper. But they're gonna boost that up to 5 now. So, it might not be the best little upgrade or little buff, but it's still something. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be happy about that because of just how how trash boxes range is another thing is they're gonna increase his basic attack damage from like 40 40 something through I'm thinking of I'm thinking of this at the top of my head I can't I'm not, I don't have the page for me so I'm just going by estimates here uh, I think it went from 40 to 70 but because I think his his whole kit or like his whole basic attack damage change. I don't think he's gonna do any more um, CP damage along with his basic attacks. I think it's just gonna be straight basic attack damage or weapon power damage. But yeah, I'm excited for that. He's gonna be a lot more efficient in the beginning to lane farm. One, because of the higher damage and two, because of the longer range. So I'm excited for that. I am really excited for a Lance. I've been playing, I have beta for those of you that don't know, and I've been playing him a little bit. I haven't played him in an actual match because there's not that many people playing beta right now. So another fighting game um, is happening. Again, I'm trying to get the stacks off of Arden and Blackfeather, so as soon as I'm able to, I just straight out jump on Kestrel and as you can see I'm doing 200 damage per hit so yeah it's just gonna easily melt her down she's incredibly squishy so yeah, it's not really a problem our minions are pushed I just noticed holy crap that's a lot <laughs> either Ozo or Ban has to go up there unless or our turret will be destroyed but it looks like the turret and the, our minions are like taking care of it since we did get the ace so it looks perfectly fine we got a Kraken, there's the only thing, the only way probably to come back from the enemy team is to just um, beat us in the in this last 3v3, that's like the only way they can really do anything. <laughs> nice glimmer shot there Castro. Okay once I get the buff from what's called uh, from Bentim and I, and I hop on Castro on anyone actually I just start melting their asses man it's I love Rona so much I haven't gotten the bunny skin man I really wish I uh, I would have gotten it for this match at least I have like 16 cards I need like four more sucks that you can't sucks that they're gonna be worthless for essence but I mean still they're free Bas they're basically free and it's basically a free skin so for those of you that aren't gonna get it I think you should think otherwise and just just get it. It's just a skin that you might never see again Unless there's like some kind of special offer later on But yeah, you guys This was GG. We almost destroyed her again. I ended up just committing suicide um, I'm again. I'm sorry for my voice. It's like crap. I'm really sick But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that Hope you guys are excited for the next update and we, we will see you later.